So this next video in the series showing you around my craft studio is going to concentrate on how I store my stamps and dies. I've already mentioned um, the containers I use. These were from Muji. They've discontinued them, um, which is a real shame because they're quite long. I think they're about 30 centimetres going back um, and about 15 across from memory. I'll, I'll check those measurements. Um, I did find a company, I'm, I'm in the UK, so I did find a company that made the same dimensions in terms of the, the depth and the width. These are, you can see side by side, these ones are a little bit higher and the acrylic is a bit thinner than the Muji ones. Um, so the Muji ones are better in my opinion, but they don't make them anymore, certainly not in the UK. Um, I suppose people, they're sized for CDs and I suppose people don't really buy CDs anymore, do they? So um, it makes sense why they've discontinued them, but it's a bit frustrating for us crafters. I'll put some details in the description box of the UK company that I found. I think they were called UK Acrylics or something like that, but I'll, I'll, I'll find a link and I'll put it in the description box for those of you that might be interested. And... Um, I will switch my camera over and I'll show you exactly how I do store these in the pockets um, and, and the measurements, etc. For, for how that works. Um, I mentioned before, I do the same for my dies. I put those in the same pockets. So I'll, I'll show you how I do that as well. So I'll show you the basic supplies that I use to organise my stamps. First of all, I use... The Simon Says Stamp um, clear storage pockets. You can get the same thing, uh, Avery L do them. Um, there's a few different manufacturers, but the Simon Says Stamp own brand ones are the cheapest I've found. I, I think you can get cheaper versions on Amazon or whatever, but I like these ones. They're quite good quality um, and you get 50 in a pack. And what I do is I cut a piece of white card to fit inside those pockets. I've written down the measurements here, um, depending on whether you use centimetres or inches. So it's roughly 13 and a half by 18 and a half in centimetres or five and three quarter by seven and a quarter if you use inches. And what I do is I get my piece of card and then I use my label maker to create a label to pop on. I'll show you the stamps first actually. So for my stamps, I first of all cut a piece of that white card and then I cut a clear label using my brother. This is the Brother P Touch. I'll find a link for it and add it to the description box. And then I buy, um, you can get clear or white. I use white for some things in my room. For these I use clear. And then I also cut a piece of acetate the same size as that white card. Then I can remove the stamps from the packaging and just pop them straight on that acetate. And then they fit nicely inside my stamp pocket. The font of this actually isn't this one. This label's an older one from when I had a previous machine to this. Um, this machine has a nicer font actually. This is using this machine. So for dies, I do the same thing. I cut a white piece of card and then I buy magnetic sheets in A4 sheets and then I cut it to size. Um, obviously for this one die, I don't need to cover the whole front. So I just did a strip. If I've got a die set like this one, where I've got lots of dies, then I'll cut a piece to cover most of the front so that I can um, pop my dies on if I've got lots and they will all fit. So that's how I store my dies, um, or my thinlet dies that is. Um, and it's a really good system. For stamp sets where they might be larger, um, I know some of the stamp sets um, come in a larger format than this. And you can get larger storage pockets, but obviously for me, I want them to fit in those same Muji um, acrylic boxes. So if I have got a set that um, is larger than this, I just trim it in half and I put it in two separate packets so that I can keep them all in the same size storage pockets. So that's how I store my stamps and dies. Hopefully that's helpful if anyone wants to give this system a go. 
So I hope that little insight into how I've, I store my stamps and dies has been useful to you. I'll put details in the description box of all the products I can find and I'll put a link to that UK company that sell those acrylic boxes in case anyone's interested in getting some of those. As I mentioned before, this video is one in a series of a tour around my craft studio. This is just one area. So if you're interested in seeing the rest of my room, check out my other videos and hopefully I'll see you soon.